Hey everybody, this is Ori from AstroWeb and I'm going to introduce you today to setting up Shopify shipping rates. How do you do that? What are the main concepts and a few custom and advanced things that you can do? All uh, that we're going to talk about today is default Shopify. We're not using apps or things that enhance the functionality. We're just showing you what is out of the box. Okay, great. So uh, the first thing you need to do before you even configure anything is you need to figure out how you want to charge shipping, how you want to calculate the shipping rates. So there's three main possibilities that you can do for your shipping rates. Okay, number one is you can set up your uh, shipping carriers, so for example, DHL, UPS, FedEx, etc., to automatically calculate the rates for you on the fly for every single cart that wants to check out based on, typically it's based on the weight. Okay, so once you go to all of your products, you manage the products, and then you have to specify the weight for them. Okay, so for example, let's say I have a product right here. When I fill in the product, and if I have a variant or a regular product, I will actually fill in the weight itself, okay? So that's the first thing. So I have to, if I don't fill it out, obviously the weight, the calculations won't be great and they'll be missing, but you have to fill it out, okay? So that's the first one. Carrier calculated means every cart in real time based on what's in shop, inside the shopping cart will be calculated based on the provider. As long as they're actually uh, in default Shopify, you'll be able to get the rates, especially USPS, UPS, etc. The second way, is you can define the rates yourself. So you do your business calculations, you uh, contact your own shipping providers and you figure out if you want to, uh, and you figure out how you wanna define the shipping rates. And so there's two possibilities. Okay, so option two and option three are either by the amount that's in the cart. So for example, someone has a hundred US dollars in the shopping cart, I wanna charge $5 flat rate, okay? Or above 200, I want it to be free shipping, but below 200, I want it to be 695, okay? So based on, the second option is based on the total amount that's in the cart. The third option is very similar. It's also flat rates, but it's based on the total weight that is in the cart. So again, you have to define your product weight and then it'll add it up. And you can say, for example, between zero and 50 pounds, it'll be, let's say $2 between 50 pounds to $100. 100 pounds, it would be $7 and above that would be free shipping. So you can define multiple rates and you can also mix and match. You can say, I, I want carrier and I want flat rates based on uh, the weight and I want flat rates based on the price. So you can do a lot of things. You can do mix and match, okay? So let's show you a little bit about how we do that. So I'm gonna go to settings and I'm gonna click on shipping and delivery. And right here I have this shipping and I'm gonna actually go ahead and I'm gonna manage my rates. Right now I've set up locations and zones, okay? So what you need to uh, make sure is you, you first define the countries you wanna ship to or the states, the locations, and the second one is the shipping rates and how you wanna calculate them, okay? So uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about profiles a little bit later in this video, but right now I wanna stay with the simple part just to begin with. So first of all, you'll define where you're shipping from. If you have multiple warehouses, you'll, you'll have rates specifically for each part. Okay, so you can see that here. So for example, I'm shipping from both of these warehouses, for example. And how do, you, how do you define the warehouses or the locations? You'd go to settings and specify locations. If you have more than one, you'd specify that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna first create a shipping zone, which is basically a physical area that you wanna ship to. And I can call the name, for example, I wanna call it Australia, okay? And then I would go ahead and I would search for Australia. Okay, and I can, and I, obviously you can also drill down. You don't have to select only a country. You can select, for example, in US each state or areas depending on the country itself. So I would select that. And once I did that, if you scroll down, now I have a new country that I'm allowing shipping to. If you don't specify the country or you don't specify rest of the world, then you will not be able to ship there. It means a customer, when they go to your checkout, if they, if they, try to check out with that country, they won't be able to check out. It'll say, hey, sorry, we don't deliver there, okay? So once you select an area, for example, a country here, you're gonna actually add rates. So again, if you remember, there's three options. One is the carrier calculated, okay? And then you would just specify the carriers that you have here, for example, UPS, DHL, okay? And then 
You can also add a handling fee if you want to do that, but in many cases you don't, but this is an option, okay? The, the second and third ones are defining your own flat rates. So you, first of all, what you would do is click on the add conditions and you can specify the name, for example, standard shipping, okay? And you specify the price. For example, I want it to be $5.99 for, okay? So I, I can either do without, if I remove the conditions, it means all orders to Australia will always be $5.99. Okay, but if I want to add a condition, I can say based on the weight, minimum weight is between zero and let's say 50 pounds, I can do 599. And if I do again, I'm going to call this standard, standard shipping. Okay, and I'm going to do between 51 and let's say 100. Okay, and then I'm going to do a free shipping, for example, standard shipping. And I'm going to do here from 101 and then no, no limit. Okay, I don't need to fill that out. And it's going to be free. Okay, so it's free. Great. Okay, actually, I'll, I want to call it free shipping. I think it's a better name. Okay, so now I've defined based on the weight my calculations. And here I made a mistake because I put it free. I don't want it to be free. I'll do it, for example, 888. Okay, so now I have my tiers, but I could also do based on. I can do standard, standard, I'm just gonna call it a new name, and I can also do it based on order price. So for example, between zero and $150, I want to have it $3. So I hope that makes sense. So, and you can do mix and match, but if you do things that conflict with each other, so for example, uh, you might have, a, you, might, you will have two rates in the back end, or in the front end, excuse me. So for example, right here, a standard, you, uh, when a customer checks out, if their order is, let's say, $100 in the, within this range, and it's within the range of, let's say, this, this uh, weight, let's say it's 30 pounds, you'll basically allow the customer to have two separate, two separate options for them to choose, right? So you got to be careful that you're not conflicting or you're not making duplicates, things like that, but it will show. So as long as the condition, the rule is met, it will show, okay? Great. So once I do that, I can save it. And now I can move forward. So now I set up Australia. You, you're going to do the same thing for all the zones that you have, right? So if you have, right now I have Australia, I have US, and I have the rest of the world, right? So I can do that. I can also delete them if I want. I can edit the zone. Now, if you noticed, that, if you remember, there's three different possibilities. My own flat rates based on weight or the uh, price and the carrier calculated. So you could actually, here's what I set up in US you can actually have it your own rates plus the carrier calculated. So you can have many, many different things all together. And then you'd have multiple options for the customer to select in their checkout. Okay, so this is an important thing. You can mix and match, have only one, which is a, usually a lot of business to do that, but you can also make it more advanced. Okay, so a, from your entire catalog, so you have all of your products, all of your products here, right? So all of your products. So Every single product that customers add to cart would always use these rates that you defined right here. So when I go to checkout, I can do that. So let's show an example. Okay, so let's go here. I have something in my shopping cart. I'm going to refresh my page. I just added an Adidas backpack. I'm going to remove this and I'm going to go to checkout. Okay, so it's $29.70. And if I put in my address, obviously they need to know your 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 address itself, you, you, uh, your country in particular. I want to see my shipping methods. I have a standard and I have an expedited. So why are there two options right here? Okay, so let's look at it. Okay, so if I go here and I go to US, because this is my US address, I can see a standard, okay, from zero to five pounds. Okay, so it's 490 and I know this product weighs uh, under 50 pounds. And I also have the expedited which is right here, right? So in this case, it would be this one. Okay, 690. So now you see that both of these rules did apply. Okay, and so you can let the customer select. They don't have to be um, just names. They could be UPS expedited. They could be DHL standard. They can be a lot of things. It's just the name that you want. And depending on your business requirements, you're gonna actually put it in. Okay, so this applies to the entire site. Very simple, very easy to do. Okay, I want to show you one advanced feature that you can do. So 
for all of these general profiles, that means all of your catalog, all of your product use all of these rules based on the shipping zone, which is the location. In most cases, it's the actual country, but sometimes it's states and counties, things like that. So what else can you do? You can create shipping profiles. Okay, so if you go one page back, you go here, there's a custom shipping rates and you can create a new profile. So what is a profile? A profile is a way for you to, de to define or to group certain products to have different rates from the general, all of the rest of the products. So I set up my rules, for example, this applies to all of the products. But if I want to exclude some of the products and I want to have different rates for some products, for example, I might have products that are very heavy, okay, or need a specialty truck to ship. They don't ship within a regular like UPS, uh, something like that. For example, maybe I'm shipping alcohol or I'm shipping really big products like huge furniture. I might need something different. So I can group them using a profile, okay? So I might call this heavy products, okay, just for example. And then I'm going to add those products. I'm going to search from my catalog and I'm just going to add some, some random things here, but you, I think you guys get the point. So let's say this and these products are within my group. Okay. So I've added two products here. Now I'm going to do the same thing and I'm actually going to go and create my zones, right? So I'm going to select, for example, us and Australia. And within that, let's, let's set up one, for example, so United States. Okay. And you can see here, I can select the specific uh, states if you wanted, right? So this is where I was talking about. You don't have to select just a country, okay? I'm going to select the United States and I'm going to create the rates. Okay, same thing. I'm going to do like standard, you know, heavy standard, whatever it might be. And I'm going to set up my rates with the conditions or without, and that's it. And once I did that, I'm going to click on save. And once you do that, you've set up a group of products that have different rates that are separate from the regular general products on your site. That's it, really simple. So I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions about custom uh, rates, custom uh, profiles, um, any other setup, things like that, we've helped a lot of people set up their things. And, and the reason I created this video is because there's been a lot of people asking questions, how do I do this, how do I do that? And I wanted to introduce it, hope this makes sense. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, put in the comments. Um, we're, we're happy to answer and really want to help uh, kind of educate more with Shopify. Thank you guys.